Was there ever an animal bigger than the blue whale? The blue whale, Balaena terramusculus, is by far the most colossal animal alive today, with the largest individuals weighing over 200 metric tons. But is it really the biggest animal ever? This video analyzes the giants of Earth's ancient past to see which ones had the best shot at surpassing the blue whale's size. Prehistoric monsters like Ototus megalodon, giant sauropods, and enormous ichthyosaurs all enter the ring with Big Blue to see if they can come out on top. The most obvious contenders in this contest of colossi would be other whales. Let's start with the modern varieties for some context. Whales dominate the heavyweight brackets today, with even unexceptional species like humpbacks pushing 40 tons. Just look, you can't tell me that's not majestic. Sperm whales can reach much greater sizes, nearly 60 tons for large bulls, with record holders exceeding 80 tons. Yet even these giants are small fry compared to big baleen whales. The Antarctic fin whale's maximum weight is around 120 tons for the biggest females. North Pacific right whales top out at 127 tons, and bowhead whales exceed 142 tons. Now let's see what they're competing with. The largest blue whale ever, according to whale researcher Joe McCleary of Cetology Hub, was around 31 meters long and weighed between 200 and 216 metric tons. That's in a totally different league, even using the biggest specimens of the other whale species. Ah, you may be saying, but what about the recently described Parasitus colossus? This extinct whale was built somewhat like an enormous manatee, and its 2023 description cited weight estimates ranging from 85 to 340 tons. Unfortunately, these masses were obtained using a technique known as skeletal fractionation, which has wide error bars. I discuss more in depth about why skeletal fractionation isn't super reliable in my paleontology size guide video, which you will probably enjoy if you clicked on this one. Long story short, more detailed volumetric models of Parasitas find that it likely weighed less than 100 tons. It's still an enormous creature by any reasonable standard, but not a realistic contender in the race for biggest animal of all time. So if whales can't beat THE whale, let's search on land for a worthy challenger. Sauropod dinosaurs were unquestionably the most massive terrestrial animals in Earth's history. The biggest group, Titanosaurus, contained such famous members as Argentinosaurus, which weighed between 80 and 90 tons. That's heavier than the largest sperm whale ever recorded, but nowhere near the record-sized blue whale. What about the infamous Indian sauropod Fangorn, once referred to as Bruhethchaosaurus? Bruhethchaosaurus is known from bones uncovered in the Kalamedu region of India. Unfortunately, those bones disintegrated before they were able to be brought to the museum. Some of the material, including the ilium for which it was named, was likely a theropod, so the name Bruhethchaosaurus would refer to that animal. Based on the 2 meter tibia, a 2023 paper scaled it compared to other titanosaurs and arrived at a conservative mass of 110 metric tons, notably larger than Argentinosaurus. Let's unpack that. While impressive, this estimate is based on a single bone that was lost decades ago, making further verification impossible. While I don't doubt that sauropods did get over 100 tons, the shaky grounds that Fangorn rests on are not strong enough to confidently say anything about its real body mass. We'll have to dive back into the water to find a better matchup. Ototus megalodon may have been the most powerful macro predator in the history of the world. With the bite force potentially reaching over 180,000 newtons, it preyed on essentially whatever it wanted in the Miocene oceans. Studies from 2021 and 2022 estimate its maximum length at around 20 meters, although recent controversial studies indicate it may have been longer and more slender. Either model would result in a high-end body mass of well over 120 tons for the biggest specimens. While formidable indeed, that's still much smaller than the biggest blue whale. What about the super-colossal ichthyosaurs? Shonosaurus popularis was a carnivorous marine reptile that lived during the Triassic period, and digital volumetric models indicate that it weighed about 29.7 tons at 15 meters in length. That's nowhere near the size of these other animals we've talked about, but a recent master's thesis assigned an enormous 30 centimeter wide vertebra to Shonosaurus. The animal it belonged to would have been over 20 meters long, and nearly 70 tons and other fragments, like Huna's giant, were even larger, close to maximum sperm whale size. Shastasaurus aconiensis was, on average, comparable in size, but with a lower maximum at 20 to 30 tons. There's also a 25 meter Guizhou ichthyosaurus that may or may not exist. Ichthyotitan severinensis is a genus of giant shastasaurid from the UK. The material consists of three partial jawbones, the Lil Stock Monster, the Blue Anchor Serangular, and Ose. Each of these serangulars are far larger than those in other described ichthyosaur species, with Ose being the largest of the three by about 15%. With the caveat that these are highly fragmentary, Dean Lomax's team scaled body length of their owners based on other ichthyosaurs to approximately 20 to 25 meters in their 2024 paper. 
that did not include Osei, which has not yet been published, and would scale to about 23 to 29 meters. Mass is more difficult to figure out, since we don't have a good anatomical understanding of other big Shastasaurids, like Shastasaurus and Shonosaurus. Those two represent slender and deep-bodied extremes, so Ichthyotitan may have been somewhere in between in terms of proportions. That would result in a mass of around 54 tons at 20 meters and 106 tons at 25 meters. Average those out and you get 80 tons at 22.5 meters for the two smaller individuals, with a 121 ton 25.8 meter Olsei. That is not near maximum blue whale territory, even accounting for the fact that the two ichthyotitan specimens sampled histologically were still actively growing at the time of death. Let's bring in the Oust Colossus, which may or may not be ichthyotitan. It's another partial jawbone, but is 30% larger than the ichthyotitan holotype, and was also still growing when it died. We'll use our parsimonious averaged out ichthyotitan to scale up, yielding a 29.3 meter, 175 ton Aus Colossus. Remember, that's not a maximum estimate, and it's based on a single specimen. Does this mean that the blue whale really is the king of the animal heavyweights? Yes. And no. We have recorded statistics for hundreds to thousands of adult blue whales, and out of all reliable reports we have the one specimen that reached the coveted 200 plus ton range at 31 meters. Average Antarctic blue whale adults, the largest population, are closer to 120 tons, well within reach of a big, fully grown ichthyotitan, and much smaller than mean estimates for the Aust Colossus. From a statistical perspective, the likelihood that we have found the record holder specimens for any of these giant ichthyosaurs is next to zero. Consider that the largest blue whale is about 66% more massive than the average Antarctic adult. Apply that ratio to Oust and you have a 290 ton monster. Considering the spottiness of the fossil record and the way that population statistics work, it is more likely than not that some species of gigantic late Triassic ichthyosaur was in fact the biggest animal to ever exist. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy analyses like this one, make sure to subscribe. It really helps out the channel and lets me know what kinds of videos you all enjoy most. I'm a paleontology master's student and nerd who thinks it's fun to talk about prehistoric animals, and I'd love for you to join the community. If you liked this video, you might really enjoy that size estimate technique video I mentioned earlier, so go check it out. I'm the Vividin, and I'll see you next time.